This is Catherine from the QuickBooks team. If you can, it's best to connect your bank or credit card to QuickBooks because then QuickBooks automatically downloads your transactions for you. However, that's not possible for some banks, or you may want to add some older transactions to QuickBooks. In those cases, you'll need to download the transactions from your bank and then upload them to QuickBooks. Let's go over how to upload transactions for a new account and then how to upload more transactions in the future. First, you'll need to download the transactions from your bank. Sign into your bank or credit card's website. Follow your bank's instructions for how to download transactions to your computer. This process will be slightly different for each bank, so you may need to search for how to do it. Now you have to decide how far back you want your transactions to go. This is important so you can avoid duplicate transactions. If this is for an account, that isn't in QuickBooks yet, then set the range for as far back as you want QuickBooks to keep track of. If you want QuickBooks to start at the beginning of the month, then download just the transactions from this month. If you want to go back further, then set the range back further. If you've already added your account to QuickBooks but haven't added any transactions yet, then have your transactions go back to match the date of the opening balance of your account when you set it up in QuickBooks. If your account is in QuickBooks and you've already added transactions to it, then find the date of the last transaction and select the next day. Once you set your date range, download the transactions to your computer. It's best to save these as a QBO file if you have that option. If not, you can save them as a CSV file. If you aren't able to download a file from your bank, you can use a PDF bank statement or even a picture of a paper statement and upload it to QuickBooks. Check out our help material here to learn how. Now go to QuickBooks to upload your new transactions. Select Accounting, then choose to upload transactions manually. Next, select the account you want to upload transactions into. If this is a new account, select Add New and name it. QuickBooks will add the transactions to your account. Then select Upload from this device. Select the file you downloaded from your bank. Here, you'll fill out details about the header, columns, and date format used in the file you downloaded from your bank. Once that's done, you'll map the columns from your file to the correct QuickBooks fields so QuickBooks knows exactly where each piece of information belongs. When finished, select Continue. On the next screen, you'll check whether the amounts for your transactions are shown correctly as positive or negative. If the values are in the reverse amount, just select Reverse All Values to fix it. Once everything looks accurate, select the transactions you want to import, then choose Continue, then Yes, then Done. You'll see all your new transactions here under your account. Whenever you have more transactions to add in the future, just download them from your bank, then select the account, select Upload from File, and follow the steps again. Now you're ready to start posting your manually downloaded transactions to QuickBooks.